What's up guys? You are joining me on a Typhoon motor vlog. So uh, it's now 2 p.m. here on Saturday and the Typhoon is about to hit in like an hour so I need to hurry up and get my ass home. Work is cancelled. The actual, uh, the city itself today is like, it's just dead. There's no one stupid enough to, to be out. This is uh, obviously a Saturday, so it's a, it should be a really busy day. But uh, there's like 1% of the usual traffic that there, there, there normally is. Let's just have a quick look at the river, see how high the river is. Turn the engine off. Whoa, what the hell are they doing here? Yeah, the river's pretty damn high actually. But yeah, this typhoon is going to be here in like an hour. So I better hurry up and get my ass home. Uh, so obviously uh, it's the Rugby World Cup at the moment. And I think uh, the Formula One is this weekend too. So obviously rugby is all cancelled. Formula One's all cancelled. Uh, the train stations are closed. The airports are closed. So there's tons of foreigners, um, foreigners, well, people like me, tons of visitors in Japan at the moment for all the, the sports, but I'm afraid they're not going to be able to see any of them. So I, I didn't think it was going to be such a big deal at first, you know, like, uh, oh, the games are all cancelled, the buses, the trains are all cancelled, but, you know, the guys, if they're rugby fans, they can just go and hit the bar downtown and just while away the hours drinking a few pints or whatever but actually no the whole of the city is closed the supermarkets are all closed uh, the shopping malls are closed and a lot of the shopping malls like the popular ones are all in the train stations so there's no access into them anyway so yeah the uh, whole city is basically shut down and uh, obviously there's no one riding bikes out today because that would be stupid but um, I'm surprised at actually how many people are out. The TV stations and the radio stations and the fire brigades also driving around in, truck, in the fire trucks telling everyone not to go out today. So yeah, I'm uh, one of the idiots who's actually gone out. And I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> I thought it would be an interesting motor vlog to, uh, to ride around just before the storm. And then if I'm feeling brave, I might just stick my helmet on and walk around, walk around town a little bit. But uh, tomorrow, I mean, this storm is supposed to be huge. It's like 150 mile an hour winds. So it's going to cause a lot of damage. So I think tomorrow, after, um, after the storm has passed, I'll probably be going to work tomorrow unless work is cancelled. But probably work will be as usual. So I'll show you what the aftermath is, because last time there was a typhoon like this, uh, there was so much damage. And not just damage, but also like uh, all the trash and uh, like all the rubbish bins and stuff just got through, thrown, thrown. The, basically the city was just covered in trash, it was disgusting. And the, obviously the cleanup takes a while, but the people generally do it themselves, they don't rely on the uh the government to help them you know like the old ladies who'd be out in the street with their brushes and the little shovels and rubbish bags and stuff so everyone gets stuck in and and helps so yeah uh for now anyway i'm just trying to get home in one piece the wind isn't actually that strong yet obviously it's raining cats and dogs as you can see but the wind is yet to hit i think i've got basically an hour but I only live 10 minutes from here, so I'm not worried. But yeah, in like an hour's time, there's going to be 100, at least 100 mile winds blowing through all of these streets. So yeah, it's going to be pretty bad. And uh, we're on a pretty high part of the city now. I can't really see, but we're kind of always going uphill. So there's not really much chance of flooding here, but there's a couple of areas um, near my house that are kind of in the lower land and man they get flooded like properly flooded even when there's just a small typhoon like it, it's up to the car door handles and uh yeah 
I, I was gonna go there now just to see what it looked like but it's a bit too far out of the way and I, don't, I really don't want to risk actually getting getting stuck in the middle of the the eye of the storm when it does hit I actually want to try and find somewhere with a roof where I can uh, where I can hide where I can shelter from this bloody um, rain but yeah this is like super downtown look all the shops are closed I mean that's a bank in there and a bookstore and all sorts of stuff the whole city is basically closed but there is a bus operate in operation so maybe it's only the trains that are cancelled surprisingly as well there's not that many taxis ah oh, what did I do as soon as I open my mouth one two three four five six taxis as soon as I said that all right I, I should just be quiet that wouldn't make a very interesting motor vlog though but yeah, so today guys, it's going to be pretty bad and it's not just my area too, it's like the literally the whole country. Um, I looked at the live update just before I left work earlier and uh, it says um, it's just off the coast in my, my prefecture. So as soon as it hits inland, it's going to be pretty crazy. Yeah, but a lot of the times, um, I mean, there's typhoons maybe five or six times a year. This year, there was a load. And so when they give all these warnings, like, oh my God, everyone, there's, there's a typhoon coming. And the whole country shits their pants and they go out and buy bottled water and the extra bags of rice and like li literally the convenience stores, all the, all the shelves are empty. And then it's nothing. Like if you'd lived in England, it, you just call it a rainy and windy day. But, um, so I, I j oh yeah, so I generally don't, don't really panic too much when they're like, oh, there's a typhoon coming. But this time it does actually seem pretty serious. So I think it's better to be safe than sorry and get my ass home. Oh, okay. Bad driving. Excellent. Need yeah, bad driving in typhoons. Is my, oh, my door, oh, my nose is open. Sweet. I want to get some lunch. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Uh, should I risk doing a wheelie in the in this weather? It's probably a bad idea, but this Audi TT seems to want to race. Yeah, to be honest, guys, I've never seen the city this empty before. Even when I go. Uh, like go out into the mountains really early on a Sunday it's about the same as this on just a regular regular weekend day at five o'clock in the morning but at this time of the day on a Saturday there should be millions of people here but I guess most sensible people have stayed indoors well done to them oh here's some foreign tourists Run, forest! <laughs> I totally just got splashed by the car with my visor up as I wheelied. I couldn't see where the fuck I was going just then. Oh man. <laughs> I'm such a fucking retard. Oh dear. Right guys. I'm going to stop somewhere where there's a roof and get a hot coffee now because I'm soaked and cold. Ah, so guys, hopefully, if I pluck up the courage, I will um, just literally stick my helmet on and go for a walk uh, when, the, when the, the big part of the storm hits, just to show you how powerful it is. Depending on actually how powerful it is, I might <laughs> my sensible side might prevail and I'll just stay inside and <laughs> stay away from the windows as they tell you, but <laughs> Man, I hope I caught that on camera. That was ridiculous. All right guys, so I'll see you Hopefully as long as I'm not being blown away and I'm not on the other side of the country in a cloud somewhere I will see you guys soon. So make sure you check out my other videos give me a like a share and please do subscribe and i will see you on the other side